Hey there guys, the Alex will bring you a game of Search and Destroy an Afghan. Uh, today I'm using the FAMAS with the red dot sight and the heartbeat sensor, which means it's blinked. And uh, I'm not sure if I have Blink Pro, but if I do, then it'll be the G18 Akimbos and... Um, yes, I do have Blink Pro, so it'll be the G18 Akimbos with the extended mags, which is great when you have extended mags. because uh, they shoot the bullets out really fast, and uh, reloading can get you in trouble sometimes. So we start on offense. Um, uh, I like, I'm not really sure what I like better on this map. I haven't played it enough to, uh, or played enough during Search and Destroy to, uh, come with too many patterns, but normally I just go to this left side. Even if I'm on, uh, defense, I'll go, come over here. And, um, just kind of go into the bunker area. And then just respond to whatever happens. And, um, uh, that barrel always get, that barrel always, like, keeps me, gives me on edge. Because if someone throws a stun in, it'll probably kill me. So there we go there, I get my first guy. I have time, so I go for the headshot just because it uh, gets plus 500 extra points, so... You should probably take that if you can get a headshot, try and get it, but... Uh, don't take too much time so that the person kills you or something like that. Or gets away. So, yeah. The Moss is a precision weapon, so it's good at long ranges, and that's what I was really going for here. Um... And, uh... Yeah, so... Here we him. It's a nice shot on that guy. So, um, bomb sight. So, people don't normally go to the B bomb site. If they go for quick plants, they no they'll normally try to go to the A bomb site. Uh, I stay away from the caves and uh, the cliff area. I just kind of stay over here. Uh, because I'm not really sure the tendencies that most people have and uh, the spots that they use in this. See a claymore there. Um, there's like a guy in the corner. Oh no, he gets killed by that guy. So now I'm just gonna post up in this, um, or the, no, I was, I guess. So I'm gonna go over to A, and I'm uh, just gonna look around and try to get a few guys. Uh, we have, like, all our, all our guys left, and they, uh, they're down to their last man. So I'm gonna try, uh, rush in and get that last kill. But, uh, I don't know, really know where he was, so, I didn't really have a chance to. Another game where you kill Cam, 360, yeah, so that's pretty cool. By Ghost Michael. So again, offense, and, um, and they still do the same thing, because I haven't really encountered anyone uh, really early on that would try and that would make me stop from taking the route. If I came into a marathon lightweight guy who sprinted out, then I might think about retaking, or taking a different route. And here, I get that guy, well, my guy continues to 360. For some reason, and shoot the claymore, nearly killing myself, and I blow up the barrel just as a precautionary, precautionary, just so I don't kill myself later on with it. And I see guys moving around inside there, so I try to get the Semtex into the plane, uh, but it just goes on the side of the plane, and I run out. But the guy with the Barrett over there, who sniped the guy who was my sniper, gets me. So I have to uh, sit out. And, uh, oh, but the round ends pretty soon after my death. So that was half time and or intermission or whatever, so we get to switch sides, this time play defense. Uh, we have a round on them, but uh, that's not really that's not really too much, they can come back from that pretty easily. So, um, uh, most people on the other team, whether when they're on offense, will try to new tube over here. And um, it's dangerous to try to run to this bunker that I'm in right now, uh, right off the bat, but this time they didn't. So, But if you hear the noise, the grenade launcher firing noise, then you uh, kind of want to wait and see what happens with the grenade launcher. You don't want to, or where the shot lands. You don't want to just immediately. You don't immediately run, uh, run into this building right here because you will get killed. And uh, that is annoying. So I see a guy with a heartbeat sensor somewhere out there. Uh, that's that's terrible. Do the suntex run in the doorway. But I'm just not trying to die. I don't want to die here. Uh, playing it cautious because as long as I have on the heartbeat sensor, I know where he's going to be. So I'm just kind of hoping that he'll make the first move and uh, comes through the door. But since he doesn't, I just kind of jump out and um, drop to the ground and shoot him. And um, I think there's, yeah, you'll, they only have one guy left. Uh, I pick up this Barrett right here for some reason. Still has a heartbeat since just trying not sacrificing that uh, capability of finding the person if they're not wearing ninja. And just looking around and someone else needs last go. So, yes, yeah, this guy gets a nice, 
That's a nice shot. Yeah, he gets a nice shot in the for the game when you kill him. You can see there were lots of snipers, especially on my team. Uh, yeah, lots of them were snipers. That can get frustrating if they're not good, but uh, people have actually gotten fairly decent in Modern Warfare 2 at quick scoping and sniping in general. So I'm impressed with that. I like that. And there's guys over there, and I get that guy eventually, but I wasn't being too accurate with it. And I call him my UAV. And uh, I see lots of guys, but I see one guy who was going back to B. But it looks like he got taken out. And uh, now just people are starting to drop dead everywhere. So I'm just being careful, thinking of time to move around the map. And see that guy, pull up my GT and get him, and then find this riot shielder, and he really knights me. I don't remember that, that's pretty dumb though. And my last guy, the last guy on our team could handle the pressure, so he just jumped off the cliff and died. I think he was probably trying to aim for the mattresses, but he didn't do a good, too good job of it. So there we go, we're taking another loss, and that's disappointing. Uh, just because there's so many guys that could have gotten, but I didn't. And that's a, one of the things that Riot Shielders do a lot nowadays. Is they either have uh, either have throwing knives or they have C4. Just because you don't expect uh, Riot Shielders to be much of a threat. So they also carry a pistol and they'll switch to it really quickly. Uh, I see this a lot when someone tries to run away, they'll switch to it and uh, shoot them. It's a good strategy. Just because so many people underestimate the. They'll underestimate the Riot Shielder and then get killed by it. And uh, they just think that he's not a threat at range. Uh, what I mean by that with pistols and that kind of stuff. And then they... Yeah, so lots of people die like that nowadays. And lots of people do like to use riot shields. So there we go, we lost again. So um, this is going to be the determining round because it's going to overtime. And um, I think the way that they determine offense and defense is the same as in Demolition. Uh, more kills gets defense. And that's probably right. So um, I'm just hoping we get... I don't really care. They're both. They both seem about even. But it looks like we get offense here, so that's fine as well. So I'm just gonna go back to that left area that I haven't been the whole time, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious and not die this time. These last two rounds I died, and fortunately that predator doesn't hit me. Um, predators, if you don't have, or I guess a tip for avoiding predators would be, um, just if there's a predator and there's no cover nearby, you never want to run for cover. Um, that's one thing, like, if if you run, then the motion that kind of attracts the person's eyes, and they'll go after you, but if you just kind of walk and play normally, it'll be like, in their mind, they'll see you as a kill they can always just come back and get, but um, they'll, all, they'll almost always try to go for more than one kill, so you also want to stay away from your teammates, um, just because they can, you can get a double kill. Double kill, and uh, that's really, really, really bad in uh, search and destroy for someone to get two kills off a predator missile. So you can see there, I picked off a few guys, and I was able to get my radar out and try to get that guy right there. But I think this guy steals my kill, which is pretty annoying. But back to predators. Yeah, just don't run unless you're next to cover, and you can get to cover within one uh, burst of sprint. Which, and uh, what I mean by that is, um, within one thing of you holding down the sprint button and then. Um, without letting go. I'm not sure if that's very clear, but uh, you'll sprint and then you'll stop after a while. Like that, uh, you want to be able to get into a building or cover in that amount of time. Uh, yeah. So, um, final score, 10 kills, 3 deaths, and an assist. Uh, it's a decent game. And uh, just thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. And thanks, this has been Alex.